2023. It's time to wrap her up. What a year. What a fucking year. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this is going to be a recap of my 2023. In this video, you will see some things that I have posted before, some things that I haven't posted before. You may have seen these things, you may have not seen these things, you may have heard of these things, you may have seen them on my Instagram, on my TikTok, you may have not seen it at all. Maybe there were videos that I was supposed to put up that I never did, like, you know. Um, I'm still not 100% sure how I'm going to like flow it all together. Um, but it is actually technically already Christmas Eve. And um, I'm up cleaning. That's why my bed doesn't have sheets or anything. I'm washing everything so that, you know, I have fresh laundry and everything on my sheets. All of my clothes are washed. Um, change my pillowcases, all of those things. I am very emotional about the year ending and I don't know why. I think that like, I'm still like in my feelings for real. Um, I have to remind myself all the time that I'm still freshly postpartum. I'm only six months postpartum. Um, but yeah, I felt like I wanted to definitely make this video. I feel like one of my favorite things about making YouTube videos, although I have not made some in a while. Um, one of my favorite things about making content in general, whether it's YouTube videos, TikTok videos, Instagram stories, whatever the case may be, or even when I just make videos for myself and I don't get to post them for you guys, I always am creating. The problem is editing and uploading it. But one thing that I love about just filming and recording everything and like taking pictures is that I can always look back at them. And I feel like that's why I love creating content and that's why I love recording and I love taking pictures of everything and I love journaling is because I can always look back at that moment and like kind of relive it again. I have like the worst memory and I feel like it's like a response um to like a trauma and it's my way of like protecting myself and just kind of like you know I've, I've always been taught to just go 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 and move forward um so I like to just even when I'm in a great place I like to look back at these videos when I'm in a horrible place I like to look back at them like I just wherever I'm at in life I just always like to look back at where I once was like a year ago two years ago three years ago and I just feel like sometimes we don't realize like the change and the growth that we have whether it's like spiritually mentally emotional like financial so i just feel like it's so cool to see these things and be like wow i was there like wow i remember feeling like that like wow i would have never thought that this would happen or like wow i thought i knew that this was gonna happen i manifested this or like oh my god i would have never thought like you know i think that those things are just so cool 2023 i'm not gonna lie it was a little crazy but i'm excited for 2024 um i don't know let's see what 2024 brings guys I'm here in my robe, all comfy, but I wanted to give you guys a little show of the outfit that I basically got for all of us. So just let me prop you up here real quick. I honestly have a tripod. I have no clue where the tripod is, so this is going to have to do. We have a little mess in my living room, but that's okay. I just took down my Christmas tree. The outfits in the back so if you see a little mess in the back like i said disregard it it is just me taking out all the dresses and all the clothes and all the outfits prepping for the party for Ella's first birthday party so let's get into the outfits okay let's give him rich housewife okay bye bye mommy okay so this is going to be my first outfit which i really really love her she is cute she is a moment she is very love this um with my little pregnant belly love 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 this so i'm gonna go in with that and then aubrey is gonna go in with this which kind of gives the same vibe it's giving nice and poofy it also has the little fringy ah my bracelet just got stuck it's giving the little Hold up, let me go closer. It's giving the little swan lake. And then Ayla is gonna go in with a little white poofy dress as well. So we got 
um, Aubrey and Ayla going in with white dresses, white poofy dresses, except hers has like the little fur on top. And then, so that's that. So we're all going to go in with white and then Derek is wearing his outfit. I don't think that Derek is going to change, but Derek is wearing white jeans. He's wearing a colored sweater and colored shoes. Um, and then the second outfit, let me show you the second outfit. The second outfit, I'm going to go in with a white dress. It's more simple. It's high neck and it still has the fur in the bottom. So, you know, I'm still keeping the theme alive. The theme is Swan Lake. It's like a winter Swan Lake theme. Have you ever seen like Barbie Swan Lake? That was the theme, the vibe I was going for. Barbie Swan Lake, ballerina, you know, that's what I was going for. Um... Just because I feel like the winter in Wonderland, Wonderland, is so played out and I'm just really over it. So, I went with that. Aubrey's second outfit is going to be a white ballerina. She's going to be a white ballerina. So, um, I mean, she's going to be a ballerina dressed in white. Um, So, she has a leotard with the tutu in white. She's going to wear white stockings and she's going to have... um pink ballet slippers it's all in the room in her closet hanging so i don't want to bring that out and then i'm still going to be wearing white and ayla is going to change into her beautiful little pink dress i love the details here because it's keeping the theme alive same with over here and then it has like a bow in the back it's just twisted because i gotta clip it on and i love that it comes with like a button if i want to take it on or off and I love that it also has pearls, pearl detailing on the dress. So this is going to be Ayla's happy birthday outfit, like us singing her happy birthday. And then look at these shoes that I got Ayla. They're so cute. How cute are these freaking shoes? They are so freaking cute. Aren't they so cute? I like my nails. I just did them. You can't go wrong with classic French. But yeah, these are so, so, so cute. And... That's basically our outfits for the party. So, I just finished everything. My best I friend did. did my hair and my makeup. We are, of course, running late, but we are about to head to the place. Now, it's not that far. It's like a 15 minute drive. And me driving there, I'll probably get there in like 10. Um, I gotta get dressed over there. I have everything. People are now starting to get there and it's like 5.30. You know when you say 5, people don't really get there till like 6, 6.30, whatever. So, with that being said, Carmen bodied my makeup. It looks phenomenal. I'm obsessed. She bodied my hair. I got a washing set and she just like curled it. This was my vision with the outfit. I'll show you guys the outfit when I get there. Um, I'm going to do Aubrey's hair when we get over there as well because luckily the venue that we picked has a bridal suite. So I can get dressed in private in the bridal suite, which is amazing because I didn't have that in my last event, like for my baby shower and stuff like that. I love that. Um, and yes.
Walking in the streets. So I didn't even get to tell you guys right here. I didn't even get to tell you guys what it is that I'm doing today. Woo! So I am having a quick little maternity shoot. Um, and it's different. It's like water-based. It's like in a pool. I'm nervous. I get nervous for shoots and stuff like this. I got Carmen with me. My hair is gonna be wet. Um, Carmen is blonde. Show them your blondness. I forget you have a tattoo every time I see you. So yeah, we are here. And yeah, let's go inside. Hey y'all, what's up? So, I've been home for quite some time now. It is about 4, hold on, let me check. It's 4.55 in the morning, and oh, that's what I was looking for, my earpods. Where the hell are my earpods? So it's 4.55 in the morning, and we are actually about to leave. We are 
on our way to celebrate my best friend's birthday it is tiny's 25th birthday my aries queen my aries girl aries have a very love-hate relationship with them but um for her i make an exception it is her birthday and i'm listen i'm huge okay i just dirtied my shirt because i was eating hibachi i feel huge <clears throat> and i'm still going we gonna pop out, honey. The devil works hard, but I work harder. So Herb has a show today, and we are on our way to where is it that we're going? Oakland. We're going to Oakland. So I went for a red lip. I don't know how I feel about the red lip just yet. Push comes to shove. I have a, you know, I have my little kit with me. I'll change it to brown, which is what I'm most comfortable with. I feel right now. But we're going to see how I feel about it. And yes, that's my little makeup look. I have a trench coat. I have an all black outfit on because I'm pregnant and nothing fits me. I have on some, shoot, I almost fell. I have on some booties, some black booties. And I have a trench coat on. Don't got no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Get this man fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, don't keep him my word. Can't be my equal. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a lot going on today. So let me just update y'all. I was supposed to meet Cell downtown. Tell me when you want something to drink. Um, I was supposed to meet my girl Cell downtown and I didn't because I was running behind and she ended up just saying like, I'm gonna come meet you in your house. Mm hmm break home. Which is perfect because it gives me time to do my nails. So right now I just pulled over. I got the girls McDonald's and I got myself Burger King because I don't really eat Burger King like that, but I love Burger King right now. I'm just gonna do something simple. My nail broke and everything. I'm gonna um get white fresh, keep it classy for my Dior themed baby shower. I think you should do blue and pink. Oh my gosh, probably no. Why? Why did I get McDonald's Coke? I just feel like McDonald's Coke is undefeated. Like, what do they put in it? And their Sprite, like. It's always bubbly, never flat. I'm so happy that my shoes fit. I'm so happy the shoes came on time. I'm so happy that Customs released the shoes. I'm very happy with everything, the way everything is turning out. God never lets me down. Sometimes I feel it. I'll feel the pressure. He'll let me feel the heat of the ground, but he never lets me touch the ground. Like he never, ever, 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 like fully let me hit the ground. I have this saying that I love it so much, but it, the saying goes, Dios aprieta, pero no ahorca. Which means like, if I'm translating it literally, it says like, like, God will hold you real tight, but he won't choke you. Like, he'll, you'll feel it. You'll feel the pressure. He'll squeeze you, but he's not going to choke you. Like, you ain't going to die. Per, we got matching nails. Let me see. Hold on. Hi, guys. The lighting is horrible here. I wish that light worked. I wish Sasha wish. has, like, a little ring. Oh, yes. She does have a ring light. Okay, guys. So, we're here. Everybody's running late. It's raining. It's a little wild. I'm not going to lie. But... I gotta show you this makeup and lighting because it looks really, really good. Um, so we got Jolene here doing my hair and I'm excited because I've never done this before, so I'm scared. But I'm excited at the same time. Jolene, tell them what you're doing. Um, we're giving her a quick weave, like her. Look, that's Judy calling you. Oh my God. We're giving her a quick weave. We're popping her quick weave charity. Yes, because okay. my first time doing this. Hello? Hello?
much Every time I sip on cocaine, I get drunk Annoying the sounds of the storm when it comes She understand I can't take her everywhere that nigga going I've been in the field like the children of the corn I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone Get mad at yourself cause she can't leave me alone Got some shit missing, it ain't what we doing Traveling around the world I never, ever, ever want to forget how beautiful you are. So tell the camera. I love you. Look at these toes. Look at these toes. Besito. Mm. Besito. Mm. Oh. Besito. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I know you want to see you Which I'm not surprised. We shouldn't be surprised. Anybody here shouldn't be surprised. Because my stuff is always nice. Anyways, so I just got Ayla ready. Um, Aubrey is about to get ready right now. Just hair wise. She's ready. Um, Aston is ready. And let me show you guys how cute my son looks. I have a son. Can y'all believe that I have a son? Because I still cannot believe that I have a son. I thought I was only going to be a girl mom. But I'm a boy mom too. And he's so freaking cute. Yeah, I can't believe I broke him up. But let's just ignore that. Okay. Because I'm a mother. No drama. But... We are actually getting ready to go to Taina's mom's house. It is Journey's birthday today. So we're going to be celebrating something small. Taco Fiesta because she's turning three. Bada boom. Get it? Fiesta. Instead of Taco Fiesta. Fiesta. Get it? Anyways, it's cute. Let me show you guys Aston because I'm not paying many attention. So look at how cute my son looks. You're so cute. <coughs> You're so cute, boy. Eee. There's the story behind this right here. So, fun fact, D actually meant to buy this hat for himself for, what was it? What event was it for? It was like a baby shower or something? I think it was his friend's son's first birthday. And he bought this thinking that it was for himself. He <laughs> laughed. He loving you, he loving you, he love. It was supposed to be for him, and when it got here, he was so mad because it was for a baby. And he was like, okay, whatever. We're about to have our son anyway, so we'll just save this for him. And now he can finally wear it. He can finally wear it. But let me show you guys this outfit. Look how cute. Mad cute, right? Look at this. Mm-hmm. Aston Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Aston Carter. Look at what we got. I feel like I messed up my camera a little bit. No, I didn't. Yeah. What is this thing? Is it fatty? No, not that big. 
But like I'm saying, it's saucy though. Leave it in the sauce. Leave it saucy though, no? Because dry steak is crazy. On a taco? I know, but I could dig I could dig a little sauce in the yeah, I could dig that. Añejo. Don Don Julio in general, but añejo. Okay, so we're here with Janet. I love her. She's the best person in the whole wide world. You wanna <laughs> say hi? So, what do you? It, how long has it been? I say three weeks. Is it three weeks or two weeks? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like time flew, so I don't really know. It's a, it might have been two, two and a half, two, three. I think we're reaching like towards three. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? These. What you got in mind? How were you, first of all, how were you feeling the cat? I like, I, like, I, like, I like, no, I like that you liked it. You did, did it look good yeah, on it camera? Yeah, it look good. I like what you have. What do you have on right now? What are your lengths? Um, you're, you're long. 17s. Yeah. 17s, 18s, are long. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't look long on you. Because I got big eyes, you know? I know you wasn't feeling, so okay, are these going to be your trip lashes? I don't know, should they be my trip lashes? When are you leaving? November 4th. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be here that same time. Yeah. Let's do this then. Let's shampoo these, baby. Honestly, I just let her do whatever she wants to do and then we just call it a day. Mm. What are you doing, Obs? I got it. You're doing the Connect Four? You want me to take it out for you? So we're good. Oh my god, I love it. Guys, look it. Maya. That's perfect. I'm building a thing so they can take a picture. Oh. I just stepped on a pumpkin. Oh, nice. Great. Cute. I love yeah. that. Let's change him in here. Guys, Miele, go say some cheese. Be careful. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. Thank you. The itsy bitsy fly. The water is no, one. Down. Say cheese, one. Ready? Okay, the cheese. Ready? Cheese. Thank you. Today has been insane. These are the vibes, Cam. These are the vibes. Yeah, no, the chicken was the chicken was raw. Um, it was black, it had veins, and it was not cooked correctly. It was claw it was clucking. 
Oh my god. I've perfect. never eaten chicken again. <laughs> <laughs> This is a sign that we had a great, long, successful, tiring day. You have fun? We're about to go eat. She's so tired. She's upset. I'm not tired. You're upset, right? That's okay, babe. You'll be all right. It's cool. And he's got the nutter pumpkin. Yes, baby. We're going to get those. Those were rotten. <laughs> she literally wanted a rotten. Like it's bad inside. They had like holes in them. That's why the nut don't have black inside. Yes, Chucky was black inside. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we have all these kids. This is a trend. Listen. Crazy. I would not go to Disney until all my kids are Oh my god, I go to Disney and I literally want to kill myself. I'll tell you guys something. I went to Disney for Aubrey's. I went when Aubrey was one and I was like, oh wow, never again because she was throwing tantrums the whole time. Then I waited till she was five because she's older. Still horrible. Oh my god, wait, look, we got all the kids. Wait, wait. Oh my god, wait. I don't, you can handle all these kids. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, looks like I'm getting that one. I need the link to that stroller. I wanted to get the donkey and she, she said it's a stupid $2,000 stroller and she texts me every single time I talk about it. She's like, don't you dare get that fucking stroller. And I'm like, all right, fine, I guess. And then today I was like, I'm gonna get a donkey. She was like, don't you dare get that stroller. But like, look how good this stroller is and how much you paid for it. One eighty? No way. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next day, and I've been I've been vlogging all week. Carmen is here. My bestie is here, and oh my god, I don't even want to explain to y'all what happened here. That looks like makeup. Yeah, it is makeup. <laughs> um, so I've been doing my makeup lately, and like I have this, I'm just blending out my makeup, and I just was asking for help with my transition. So I noticed that I was bringing my contour too far down, and like out. Like, I'm going to show you. Let me use a brush. I was bringing my contour too far down this way. And although my line was here, when I blend it out, I would bring it down. So it just... So this is the side that I did in terms of, like, placement. I did both of these lines. Look at the contour here. And look at the contour here. Carmen's side. <laughs> my side. Okay. So Carmen did the blush up here. And I did my blush down there. So we're going to see the difference. Carmen is giving me a one-on-one -on -one class. I'm good. Book me. Book my friend Carmen. Don't If you're not booking her. Then what the fuck are you doing? Then what the fuck are you doing? Wait, what are you doing right now? Explain it. Oh, oof. Like, what are you doing? What are you just doing? just blending. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. Wait, but then I can Okay, go. Hold on. Just do it and then tell me. Let me see. That's like on my a corner of my eye though, huh? Yeah, I'm doing the pink look. Okay. Add a little bit more concealer. Where? On my hair? Yeah. Just a, like a little bit. I'm right sure. here? Uh, more in your corner. Right there, yeah. A little more? Okay. Oh, that blush looks so Wait, let me show you also another blush that I really, really like. Hold on. This is like my fave. But I think she's too dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm, I see. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Mm. Rose is going to be black too. Mm -hmm. Isn't the scarecrow... I'm brown, like a light brown. Hey, Daddy, you do not look like a scarecrow. You look like a pumpkin. Here we are doing Dorothy's. What's your name? Aubrey. No, it's not Aubrey. My name is Aubrey. Your name is Dorothy. My name is not Dorothy. Oh my God. Obs. 
You're Dorothy today. You're not Aubrey. Okay, so what's your name? Dorothy. Yes, it is! Dorothy, Dorothy. Her name is Dorothy. Aubrey lost her tooth, guys, by the way. She had lost already one, but now she has both of them. Did it hurt? Tell them how much it hurt. Um, no, it didn't. Period. It didn't hurt at all. Because Aubrey is a big girl, and she's not a crybaby. Ah. Do you know what's the dog's name? No, not really. Toto. Toto? Mm -hmm. That's a funny name. Who names a dog Toto? To Toto. Toto. Yeah. You said Toto. Toto. Toto? It rhymes with Coco. Exactly. But it's T O. T O. Honey! What? This is how Dorothy looks. Can I see? What? <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute. You think you look cute? <laughs> Why? What don't you like? I don't like <laughs> Okay, let me try again. You're always... <laughs> what did I say? Tell them. <laughs> Tell them what I said. Why? You tell That you're always going to be my baby, even when you're a grandma. Look at Aubrey's socks. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Come on, let's put your socks on. When I'm 100, I cannot be your baby. Yes, you can. Come on. Come no, I can't. You're going to be dead. Okay. It's true. I'm going to ask him to wear this. Hey, Aubrey. Come on. This time I woke up, I couldn't breathe. But now I can. Aubrey's shoe. Okay, guys, so my stockings literally got here yesterday, super last minute. And they're like the witchy ones. Super cute. These overalls just got here literally like 15 minutes ago. I thought he was going to have to just wear like jeans or something, but no, they got here right on time. I'll show you guys, because he's a scarecrow. Going for the oversized look. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and then of course, he's wearing his flannel. Love it. Love it. And I'm not going to make him wear like a scarecrow cat. I'm just, he's going he's gonna to wear um like one of his little hats that he wears. And then we got Aubrey. My puppy. His ugly dog. It Toto. Ugly. It's okay though. We got her Toto in the baskets. I heard in the movie. Oh, we got to take this off. Oh, no, I didn't. He was, I didn't get to see him. Come on, let's go, let's go. That's I think weird. it's time for you, Gigi, to go. Okay. Yeah. Am I there? Yeah. Okay, I'm dropping. Thank I you. love your costume. You, not Aston going to sleep. Not my lion going to sleep. My lion sleeping. All right, Ops, go ahead. What do you say? Shake a tree table. He like Aubrey. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, she's Dorothy. <laughs> Whoa, you guys really went all out. Love that. And then this is the lion. Come on, Aubrey. Where's the lion? You like cookies? You like cookies? You like cookies? Yeah. Like go, go, go. Special people get these. Whoa! You're, what do you say? Thank you. Come on. Let's go. He said you're special. Thank you. Good job. Happy Halloween. Get ready with me um, for a very casual, casual, casual and say at my cruise. I honestly have no casual clothes. All of my clothes are like dressy, dresses, heels, sandals. So they told me to really dress down because we're gonna get really drunk right now. So yeah, I should have brought like maxi dresses or something. I just brought like dressy dresses and Kay is not dressing up so I don't want her to feel uncomfortable or not feel like, you know, I'm just going with my girl, you know, we gonna match. So I'm just going to uh, prep my face really quickly. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I love these. If you guys have not used it already, it is the Glow Recipe. I wish the lighting would look the way that it does on my phone. I'm recording for a TikTok and recording for a, my phone. I mean, I'm recording on my phone. Oh, guys, let me show you this. Recording for TikTok and for YouTube at the same time because your girl is trying to get back in her bag. Okay. I'm trying to get back in my bag. 
Yes, I am. Guys, I got my eyebrows done by this girl named Chris, Crystal, and she is so phenomenal. So I know a lot of people are wondering, like, oh my god, why are you no longer with Raul? Because if you know, you know, I have been with Raul for a really long time. There's literally nothing wrong with Raul. Love and adore him still. I'm going to spray them. I don't know if I want to spray my body spray. Let's go ahead and spray some Baccarat because I'm feeling good. Like, I'm having a good time, you know? Oh no, baby. Hold on, let me fix myself on my camera because I don't know what's going on with her. Thing was a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's see, let me try now. There we go with the quick autofocus. Don't play with me, girl. Um, that is the Sony ZV-1, in case you guys are wondering what camera I'm using. Um, just letting this dry a little bit. I should have brought my fan, but whatever, I didn't. I love those drops. I really, really do. And I'm almost running out, so I need to reveal on that very soon. Like I said, I'm not going to be putting, like, foundation and everything on. To be honest, I really don't want to. I'm going to be putting some concealer. Because these bags, baby, they are just not designed. I am going to be going in with my Hourglass. I love this concealer. And actually, my girl, Amaya, is the one that put me on to this. Um, when I was, like, asking which concealer I should put on, she actually let me know which concealer to put on. And we're pretty close in, like, color a little bit. Um, so I asked her, like, oh, you think that... This shade will work or this shade will work. And she told me what shade to get. And yeah, that's what I did. I got that shade. And uh, yeah. I got that shade. And here we are. I really wish this lighting was not so yellow. It looks perfect on my phone. And on there it looks horrible. It looks really, really yellow. So I was saying I got this from... It literally says skip and hop. It's from my son's little diaper book bag, which I love. I recommend her. I know I was honestly, I wanted a Dior diaper bag and I was going to get it. Trust me, I was like, literally his godfather was going to get it. What the fuck? His godfather was literally going to get it for him. And then I just decided like, it's not even worth it for real. I didn't get it. And honestly, I went with the Target one. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Let's not even, we don't even need it, to be honest. And it's true, I didn't need it. I just think sometimes we get so caught up with wanting things like that, but we don't need those type of things. Okay, so we're going to blend this out. Guys, when I tell you that this concealer is phenomenal, like, please go get it. I didn't do my little contour. No, I didn't. I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't want a lot. I'm trying to learn how to contour higher guys because i don't know if you guys have seen my stuff but i contour really low and then i basically drag it you know and that's what i don't want to do so girl as long as it comes together i don't care by the way if you guys have some makeup tips i'm very open to learning i have been learning um i think i do pretty good like i think i know how to defend myself with my makeup or whatever but um yeah like you know like i said if you guys have any recommendations or whatever you guys let me know i'm very open i'm willing to learn um I was a NARS concealer girly and I really really like this so 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 much. I love her. We love it's about to be my baby's birthday in a few minutes. And we're drinking maybe Where's my phone? I gotta Why? Where's my phone? It's your birthday!
Uh -huh. We're not gonna see your age anymore. We're 20 something. I feel um, blessed to be here. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh -huh. Showing me love and shit like that. Okay. Um, I want to accept this world on behalf of my family. Okay. My kids. Okay. My lady. Okay. The guys. The guys. And um, even the dick riders. Even the dick riders. Shout out to the dick riders. We love y'all anyways. Uh, on, on, on the free Jeff. What? Free Jeff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my baby daddy's birthday. And I just want to say happy birthday, babe. I love you. I am so happy that we're spending another birthday together. And I love you so, 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 so much, my poochie poo. And I'm wishing you more life, more wealth, more health, more everything. I believe in you now and always, you know, it's always us against the world. Happy birthday! The best part about when I booked this cruise, I didn't know what I wanted to do for his birthday. Honestly, I wanted to go to St. Martin, and honestly, the reason why we didn't was because D did not want to go. He wanted to go on a cruise so bad. I'm like, babe, do you really want to go on a cruise? Like, I've never been on a cruise before, and neither has he. But I just was like, oh, you sure you don't want to go to um somewhere? Like, and he's like, I really, really want to go on a cruise so bad. I want to experience it. He's been talking about a cruise for like six months now. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do what he wants to do. This is what he wanted. Cause I feel like sometimes we do what like, when we give sometimes we do what we kind of want as well. So I just wanted to do exactly what he wanted 100%, which is why I was like, okay, we're gonna do a cruise. If you wanna do a cruise, we're gonna go cruising. I did pick like where we're going and stuff. Um, and he's never been to Mexico, so we're going to Mexico. We actually get there tomorrow morning. And I'm excited because we have a few excursions. We have, we're gonna go horseback riding, we're gonna go ATV riding, we're gonna go drinking, and we're gonna get drunk and eat mad food. Oh yeah, only we're doing horseback riding. Cause they didn't want to get on the horses. They're a little late. They're So. So we are going. Let me get my mind off that young rich motherfucker get mind off rap with my niggas. Tell everybody. Um, over the name the three. Huh? I'm good. Not Aubrey's named after Drake. <laughs> I mean, I love me some Drake. I don't mind it. Is it recording? No. Right oh yeah, I did. On this. Oh. Here. We are drunk. Here, take a picture. We try to do this. Go. We just did the jet skis. Come. Oh, we just went oh my on God, the jet I'm ski. So... <laughs> You're so drunk. <laughs> we we didn't just even... went on the jet ski. We went on the horse wreck riding, ATV, and we did the jet skis for 30 minutes. We had to kick the guys off. And we cut ourselves. Because they're scary. We just cut ourselves. So them We're our just matching girl. Cuts. I'm just a girl. <laughs> and look and at them over there. We have 30 minutes before we gotta get back on the cruise. So we're gonna just have a drink. One drink. And two. Okay, fine. Two drinks. Two drinks. And then we're and gonna go live. On the Bro, today has been a long ass day. We have to go on the cruise, get ready for dinner, go to dinner, get drunk. All right, bye. been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where the owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you i'm only you yeah i got one virtual got one in that dead the only two man how many times have i shown and proved man how many nights i've been woke swerving the potholes not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road okay funny how life goes he thought he was sick now we wiping his nose okay soon as you give him your soul you 
blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they wanna know about the highs and lows. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey y'all, hey, happy Thanksgiving. So we made it yesterday to Virginia. It was such a wild time. I literally have to tell you guys everything that happened. Hold up, let me just clean my screen. So let me tell you guys everything that happened. Oh my god, this lighting is horrible. My camera always picks up horrible lighting like right away. I didn't get to go to the hair salon because I thought that I was flying out on Thanksgiving day and I was actually flying out today. So, I me mean, yesterday, so yeah, I didn't have time to go do my hair. I had a hair appointment and everything on Wednesday, not knowing that my flight was there initially at 10 in the morning. So, let me tell you guys what happened, which is why I was talking in the vlog like, yeah, I'm going to school tomorrow. Girl, why did I mess up and my flight was on Wednesday instead of Thursday? So, anyways. I'm using the right one right now to do my hair because my hair's not done. How long it is. Um, may God bless it. But, so let me tell you guys, I went to the wrong, I'm rushing now because I'm thinking I have a whole day to prep. And I don't. And I find this out at like 11.45 at night. So I'm like, great. I have to, my flight leaves at 10.30. So I'm like, all right. I start packing really quickly. I start cleaning the kitchen because, you know, you can never leave your house dirty. Especially not a dirty kitchen, honey. Uh -uh. Dirty kitchen don't do that. But, you know, you gotta make sure you take out the trash. Gotta make sure there's no food lingering or anything like that. Because then you come back and everything will smell. So, anyways, you know, Ayla's always eating a snack here or something there. So, I was just making sure that the house was all good. And I was, I only took a hour and a half, two hour nap. That's all I did. So, great. Boom. I'm rushing, packing for all of us. And then we get to the airport. I go to the wrong airport. I go to freaking LaGuardia and I'm here thinking I'm killing it with my three kids, my double stroller. Oh, I think I'm popping. I think I'm on, um, like, I feel like I can conquer the world. I'm untouchable. You can't mess with me. I go to the wrong airport. I'm trying to scan my boarding pass and boarding pass is not scanning. So I asked for agents to come help me. She said, that's why it's not scanning. You're in the wrong airport. And I was like, wrong airport? So I checked like if I was to Uber to the other airport, which is like an arm and a leg because, you know, it's airport and it's morning time. Um, I was like, whatever, who cares? I gotta go. So I checked. It says I get there at 941. I had to check in my bag. So although my plane left at 10.30, the clo the door, like the window closed at 9.45. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to check in my bag at 9.45. And you know, sometimes if it's a minute late to the they'd be like, no, sorry. So I didn't technically miss my flight, but I missed my flight because I missed the window to check in my bag. So I was like, damn, I'm not gonna make it. She's like, yeah, just go to the, the, the first class people there. They'll help you, priority. You know, they'll help you for even more. They'll try to like, you be a little bit even more lenient with you because you are first class whatever and i'm like okay i guess like i feel like you should just give everybody the same customer service but whatever so i go and he's being a total douche he's like well if you want to leave there's only there's no flights because it's hectic everybody's traveling for thanksgiving the day before thanksgiving i feel like it's worse than traveling on actual thanksgiving so by the way so which is the day i was traveling so he goes yeah, it's gonna, I can put you on the 10 o'clock one, which is a direct flight, but that'll be $1,300 to change it. And I'm like, why? I haven't missed my flight. So whatever. So then he's like, or we can do, a, my thing is, I didn't want to stay in the airport. Remember, it's only 9.30. It's like 9 something in the morning. I did not want to stay in the airport from 9 all the way till 10 o'clock. And I also didn't want to go home to spend another cab, like a hundred and something dollar cab to go to my house, to then stay there, to then spend another hundred something dollar cab to come back the airport like it was too much back and forth and i was like i'm wasting time i'm wasting money and i'm wasting my energy because at that point if i would have did all that i was just not gonna go i would have just stood home so i'm like i need something like sooner you know i have my kids with me blah, blah, blah. so he's like we have something at two but it's not a direct flight it's a connecting flight and it was like you didn't have to wait long honestly it was like probably like an hour so i had to take it from laguardia to Chicago and I was in Chicago for like an hour and a half and then from there I would go here to Virginia So I'm like, okay. Yeah, and I and I landed here at 9 instead of 10 the direct flight would have made me land here like at 10 50 11 So I was gonna get here essentially earlier and I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah, like I don't mind like whatever So he goes and he proceeds um, and he's like, oh, actually, you know what? Well, that's gonna be $900 and I'm like Okay, he was like, honestly, I recommend that you just go to JFK, your original airport. Are you shushing me? Hey, was shushing me. You go to your original airport, and they won't charge you anything there because that's your airport, and you haven't missed your flight yet. And I'm like, so you can't do nothing for me? And he's like, no. So I go to JFK. 
boom. And she's like, damn, you do have time for the flight, but you, your window closed to check in the bag. She's like, I'm gonna see what I can do for you. And she's like, oh my God, you were your kids? And I'm like, yeah, girl, I'll be killing this on mommy stuff. I've been about this life. Mommy, like, people try to blame me, but I've been about this life. It's almost here, yeah. People think, like, I just feel like people think that, like, I really don't be with my kids or I'm not with my kids, but I've really been about this life. Like, if you know, you know. So, um, anyways, yeah, she was, like, super cool. Her and her friend were super, super cool. Oh, my gosh, she was amazing. Um, but the only thing was that there literally was nothing else leaving from JFK. Like, JFK had nothing. They were fully booked. There really was nothing there. Like, there was no flights. There was nothing there in general. Um, and she's like, I wish I can help you. She was like, the most I could do is put you on standby. But standby is 50-50, and I don't want you doing that with your kids. So, I was like, all right, fine. So, She's like, I'm going to book you. Obviously, she didn't charge me anything. But she's like, I'm going to book you for the 2 o'clock. Um, and which is fine because it was already, by that time, it was already 11. No, it was like 1030, almost 11. She was like, um, you know, just hang out, eat, whatever. And then your flight is at 2. You have time. You don't have to rush. You take it easy. And I was like, all right. And I was doing things. I had to go back. So I went to LaGuardia, went to JFK to get her help, then went back to LaGuardia. A headache. A headache. I spent like almost three hundred dollars in cabs. So, boom, go to Laguardia, back to Laguardia. Wanted to go like mm, to that guy, and then I went in, I checked in, we were all good. Um, and then we had food, we had Wendy's, we got to see the water show. Arby loved it, Ada loved it, Aston loved it. Arby played a little bit in the little section I was there, and then you know I changed their diapers like three times because I have some poopy kids. And yeah, I feel like I liked it. The time went by pretty cool. I didn't feel like I was lingering, waiting. I feel like you always have something to do when you have kids. Um, and yeah, and it was all pretty smooth. Aston fell asleep on the plane. Ayla fell asleep on the plane ride. Aubrey was chattering the whole plane ride. We're all trying to sleep. And she's like, hey, do you know what 10 plus 10 is? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, they were pretty good. And then we went to Chicago. We also had like some Chinese food there. I really didn't want to try the pizza, so we had some Chinese food there. We hung out for a little bit, and then it was time for us to go on our flight. At this point, they started to get a little bit, like, relentless. Like, I feel like it's because they were traveling for a long time at that point. Yeah, they were a little bit, like, ah, they were a little cranky and whatnot. But I was not getting mad or anything. I actually really understood um, because, like I said, we had left the house at, like, 8 in the morning, and it's now, like, 6 o'clock at night, and we're boarding our second flight. So I understand, like, you know, they're kids, they want to, like, I felt the same way, but I'm an adult, so it's different. I know how to portray, I know how to handle my emotions and just, like, get it together. They throw tantrums, it's different. So I feel like towards the ending of the flight, they were, the second flight, the last and final flight, Aston was uh, being a little cranky, he was tired, he wanted to lay down. I train all my kids to sleep in their own beds, in their own rooms. Um, so Aston essentially just wanted to lay down, like, in a bed. He didn't want to be on top of me. Um, and I did this because Aubrey, I messed up and I failed because Aubrey slept, like, was co-sleeping with me up until she was, like, a little bit older. And I, it was really bad. Like, I couldn't go anywhere. She would wait up for me no matter where I went. If I was going clubbing, I would come back home from clubbing and Aubrey was there waiting for me even if it was 5 in the morning. So I was like, okay, when I have other kids, I cannot do this because this is not good for her and it's not good for me. So with Ayla and Aston, I do not play that. And they sleep in their own rooms, in their own beds. Like, I even put them to sleep, like, like half awake or, like, awake so that they can put themselves to sleep. Like, they're very independent when it comes to sleeping. Um, but he wanted to lay down. Ayla was cranky, too, because I couldn't really, like, you know, she wanted to do the same thing. And I'm like, oh, my God. They didn't want to be in the stroller. So, whatever. The flight wasn't that long from Chicago to Virginia, but it was all well. We got here. Taina's dad picked us up from the airport. And, yeah. And then I was, I passed out. I took a shower. I took all the kids a shower. And we didn't talk now. So, it's not Thanksgiving Day. I'm doing my hair. And, yeah, we ordered McDonald's right now because we're starving. And, you know, we don't eat till later on in the night. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated for when my hair's done. Bye. Having salads and I'm so excited. Dad, what's the Wi-Fi has gold?
Ashton, just want to listen. Oh, yeah. Could you show? Mm hmm had the good it had it's bad it had it's ugly i think that like through it all regardless of what i go through um well there's the good i'm super grateful i like cannot stop thanking god enough because i know that like the same way the bad doesn't last forever i feel like the good doesn't either like i just feel like nothing lasts forever so you need to like cherish it and appreciate it while it's there whether it's the good the bad the ugly the great i just feel like just you know what i mean it was a good little uh, it was a good little year i had my son i was pregnant went through the motions of postpartum trying to find myself again especially after having two kids back to back which i think is like huge it like affected me tremendously like having two kids back to back was like insane i think <laughs> it feels insane because having two babies is it's a lot um nothing that i can't handle but it was a lot for me um yeah here's the 2024 bring it on bitch